I do want to take you back to some breaking news and an update that has just come in to our newsroom. A representative does confirm that rapper Takeoff has died in a shooting outside of a Houston bowling alley. Takeoff, who was part of Migos along with Quavo and Offset, was 28 years old. Houston police say officers responded shortly after 2.30 a.m. local time to reports of a shooting at 810 Billiards and Bowling. We're told that dozens of people had gathered on a balcony outside the bowling alley at the time, which was on the third floor of that building. Police say security guards who were in the area heard the shooting but didn't see who did it. Last month... Uh, what, what, what? So there you go. There you go with the, uh, the fuck shit. So security guards was there, but nobody saw the shooting. But come on now. You already know when you're a target individual, ain't no such thing as ain't nobody see nothing. And at the end of the day, we live in a world that everybody is targeted, especially these gang stalkers. Because while the gang stalkers are stalking and watching you, the gang stalkers are being stalked and watched by their own handlers. And then the handlers is being stalked by their handlers. And then the handlers are being stalked by their handlers. So everybody's just watching every fucking body. Wow. Welcome to the New World Order. Nobody never thought the world would be like this, right? Everybody knew that the New World Order was coming, but you ain't know it was going to be like this, right? Now look. Is this real? Or is this just some type of psyops? Now you already know how I feel about it. I don't even believe Nipsey Hussle's dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know, Kobe Bryant, none of them. I believe all this, all this shit is just one big psyops. I told you, man. I live in the Truman Show, man. These mother, these suckers are trying to kill me every day. But but that's not making the news. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know we're not talking when. You know, directed energy weapons ain't ain't gonna make the news, right? Nobody wanna talk about that. That just sounds crazy. That just sounds like conspiracy theory. See, this is all just an, another distraction. If he's dead, then rest in peace to him. But I don't believe he's dead. On Takeoff and Quavo released their debut as a duo, only built for Infinity Links. Once again, we have learned for a representative here confirming that rapper Takeoff has died in a shooting outside of a Houston bowling alley. As we do get some more information on that, we will bring that to you live, raw, and unfiltered as we do here on Live Now from Fox. I do want to take you back out here. Just happened, but that actually is the news conference where they did announced that shooting in Houston a bit earlier on today. Actually, I'm going to play that for you raw and unfiltered right now here on Live Now from Fox. I'm here with Commander Steven Spears, who's also with the Homicide Division. Uh, we're just giving a brief update on the investigation that occurred here at uh, 1201 San Jacinto. At approximately 2.30 this morning, uh, our officers were dispatched out here to a shooting that had just occurred. Uh, upon arrival, they located multiple shell casings on the third level of the building at the 810 Bowling and Billiards. Um, I guess it's a, a bowling and pool hall. Uh, we were informed that there was a um, private party being held at the event last night that ended at approximately 1 a.m., but the party carried over till about 2 a.m. till they were cleared out. That's when the shooting occurred, where it left one male deceased on scene. Uh, and two others that were transported to area hospitals nearby. Uh, we are still in the process in the early stages of, the, of this investigation, uh, trying to gather all the information we can, and we're looking for the public's help or anybody who was at the party or at the event that witnessed this to call the Homicide Division at 713-308-3600. Yeah, we need to know where all the gang stalkers was at. Because they said there was a lot of people out there. Everybody was hanging around the balcony, right? So we need to know where all the gang stalkers were, all the people that had red and white shirts and dogs. We need to know where all you sons of bitches was at. If they want to remain anonymous, they can call Crime Stoppers at 713-222-TIPS. We're looking for any information uh, on the shooting at this time. You the conditions of the two people taking the hospital? We have investigators and officers heading that way now. 
Uh, we do not know. We know they're still alive and in surgery, but uh, other than that, don't know the actual condition until we get there. Um, like I said, the one that is here is deceased. He's a black male in his late 20s. Um, and like I said, we won't release any information on him until we're able to get more information either from the medical examiner's office once they uh, positively identify him from the uh, autopsy or if a family member or friends or family come forward and give us information uh, of who he is and things like that. We're here, right? And give us information uh, of who he is. Our friends or family come forward and give us information uh, of who he is and things like that. that. We're here, right? And give us information what the hell was that, uh, of that? family member yeah. or friends or family come forward and give us information. Uh, what the hell was that? Some type of glitch? What the fuck is that, y'all? This shit just popped up on his face and he might be a reptilian, man. This dude, I told y'all this shit is fake. <laughs> this dude up here shape shifting right in front. I never, I ain't even seen this video before, y'all. I'm, I'm just now watching it. Of who he is and things like that. Family come forward and give us information uh, of who he is. Oh, maybe that's like a camera trick. Maybe that's him shape shifting. Can you at least confirm that? You know uh, I mean, I can't confirm. Look, you know these people ain't real. You know what I mean? These are, these are um, archons and shit. They, they, you know, Palladians or whatever the fuck they are, you know what I mean? They're in physical form. They may look like us, but they're not us. Confirm that. Uh, I can tell you that there are rappers at the party. I don't know if they're involved in the shooting, but uh, like I said, it's still in the early process of the investigation. So once we find out more, we'll release that in either a press statement to y'all later on, uh, or we'll give you a uh, another press conference. This game, you're not ready for it. This the game we in, y'all. Galactical. You know what I'm saying? This is what our world look like. We battling extra terrestrials, ETs. You're in the middle of this beautiful sci-fi environment. You gotta be out your mind. If you can't see the sci-fi and, and game, you're seeing talking, intrigue, the espionage, the alliances. For you gotta be out your mind if you can't see the galactic, the galactic force in gang stalking. You know what I'm saying? If you don't see it, then I suggest you go ahead and just, just watch some movies, watch some Hollywood movies, watch some sci-fi, watch some, watch some, you know, watch anything that got something to do with some space shit. Cause that's what we dealing with. We dealing with NASA. You know what I mean? This is some high technology, dog. This shit is um, extraordinarily divine, yo. I'm trying to tell you. We talk about spirit science. Oh yeah, this is definitely, definitely spirit science. It's like pretty much everything that we can do, as far as like, because we're all gifted, right? We can all do telepathy and all that stuff. Because that's the, that's what we can do. We got those type of gifts, but that's why they gave us so much poison to dumb us down. So we can lose our our um our powers, you know. They 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 gave Superman the kryptonite. The kryptonite here is directed energy. It's directed energy weapon, and it's bad food, bad water. You know, what I'm saying everything's chemical based. So, what was my point? What was I? I'm going to say something. So my, my point my point is is that this is all galactical and we got powers, we got superpowers, but they're they're keeping us at bay. If, if this everybody talking about the solar flare is supposed to activate us, I don't know. That could be possible. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Don't get me to be, you know, you know, side with those those so so called boat folk. Those so-called conscious people that don't that know everything about everything else, but nothing about gang stalking. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you mention, you, they could talk about rocks and stones and stars and the moon all day. Go ahead and talk about motherfucking gang stalking. They, they just go dumb. What? Who? What makes you so special? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the fuck? We were just talking for hours about ancient Kemet. 
the power that shifts around. And it is, it's, it's amazing to watch. Simple actions can have massive effects. You can cooperate with people, compete with them, make friendships, deceive them, betray them. It's amazing to think that it's all just other players. More players start coming. It just starts this complete cascade of actions, and you don't know what's going to happen. It is a free for all. Get and shot. See everybody be talking about it's a spiritual warfare. No, it's a galactical warfare, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Instantly, people start dying left, right, and center. It's, it's just something that you can't get anywhere else. It's just the rush like no other. We 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 are the Star Wars. You know? You know what I'm saying? All this time, you know, growing up, I ain't even like Star Wars. I never liked sci-fi growing up. Now I realize that this is the real shit. I thought Minister of Society was the real shit. They brainwashed me. That wasn't the real shit. That was the Hollywood programming. That was that was the conspiracy that they created. Minister of Society and Boys in the Hood was all eugenic systems. You see what I'm saying? They 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 formulated those projects. That's why they call them projects. They created the ghettos and, and made them pride science projects. You know what I'm saying? To put a bunch of um a group of just a group of niggas in one environment. Um, starve them and then drop some drugs off to them with some guns and sit back and, and, and watch the program go to work. That's what that's about. You know what I mean? Guns was definitely dropped off by the CIA and also the drugs were dropped off. And see, the thing about it, like, it's like there's only two types of people in the world. Either you're going to be the hustler or you're going to be the fiend. You see what I'm saying? So... Some say, well, no, no, you're you going to be the middle man, don't have nothing to do with it. Yeah, you could be that too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's, but that's what I'm saying back in that time when, when, when the drug game was crazy. Before, before everybody became informants. Everybody informants now. If you're in the drug game, you're moving keys and pounds of weed or whatever, pills, you know, you making millions of dollars, man, you were informant. In fact, not even the ones making men and die. Even those nickel and dime dudes out here, informants. You know what I'm saying? They out here nickel, nickel and diamond. You know, selling grams and dimes and stuff, and they got red shirts on and you know out there with their dogs. You know what I'm saying? So they out there talking to the police. You know, they cool with the police, and the police give them permission to go ahead and sell their, their nickels and dimes. You know, as long as they be a good puppet. You know, and, and work for them. Tap dance, gang stalk, send directed energy weapons at at the guard, and then they, you know, they good. They good, and then they, then they, then they, they, they allow them to shoot each other. You know, then they get locked up. They snitch on each other. They still get time though. Some some, some get some get walk out the back door. You know, they got it, but but the ones that walk out the back door, you belong to them. You ever leave that? You know what I'm saying? You belong to them. You know what I'm saying? That's why you're walking out that back door. Because you know already sold your soul to them. Now you're working for them. So that's the reason why you know you know some certain cats out here that might have bodies. A lot of bodies. And they never do no time. Yeah. Because they're working for the CIA. Everybody's on this journey and writing their own stories. And that is probably the simplest way I can describe it. Things continue to change and evolve. It, it, it's awesome. I love it. Part of it. Yeah. Where that skip button at, man? With this horrible tragedy with the death of, of Takeoff.
messing with my uh, my reception again. But anyway, well, look, the video getting long. Anyway, that's all I want. I just wanted to know. Just leave. Um, we have and seen video. Know. We've seen a lot of images of what happened at two thirty in the morning in Houston yesterday but now the police seem to be honing in on some images on this new video that we got that they say shows a person of interest in this shooting uh someone an armed man standing right there in the crowd with uh, takeoff and quavo uh as a discussion is going down a heated discussion between quavo and some other unknown men who are there um takeoff is what you're about, what you're about to see and hear, takeoff is standing a couple of feet behind Quavo, but pay attention to there's a man dressed in black uh, as the conversation is going on, and that man has his hand on a gun. So the police want to find this guy. Right. Um, he is a Trying person of interest. <laughs> and you see, you know, even before the. Holy oh, f***. Now this is my first time oh, seeing you know what I'm saying? This is my first first time seeing it. I don't know if this is act, this is a stage, I don't know. I don't no, know. no, hell no. No, 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 no. I don't know, hell no. Holy f what are you doing? No, no, hell no. No, 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 no. So the police want to find this guy. Right. Um, he is a Trying person to of interest. Him. And you see, you know, even before the argument escalates to a high pitch. His hand is right on that gun. He's on the gun the whole time. And you saw Quavo in the orange shirt walk by once the discussion was over. Um, and it was two seconds after he walks, Quavo walks by, walks past the camera, that the first shot is fired. Now, again, we said the police uh, want, to, want to speak to this man as a person of interest. There's nothing that we've seen in the video. Now, you do see him raise the weapon at that point. But we can't say that he... For sure, fired the first shot. We just don't see it. Yeah. Exactly, and 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 you can't see also too if if he did fire any shots, where his shots landed. If this was the gun that possibly killed Takeoff, uh, because it seems like he was almost shooting in their defense because he's kind of going the same way that we had saw them go as well too. Um, another interesting point here in this video is that you hear Quavo somewhat like saying like look i'm i'm leaving like i'm over this like he says like come on let's go like it's like he was trying to like get away from whatever was going on and not add to it that that was a very interesting point as well too. yeah it definitely did not sound like he was trying to escalate things it more it was more like hey I, you know his tone seemed to be we're moving on this is not what it's about and you heard him saying something about basketball i wish we haven't spoken to anyone who's there to the do us any more man, information man. about what that was why basketball came up we know that Quavo plays basketball. You know, you know they got all them cats wearing no man bags. Basketball is really good. I don't know if someone was challenging him or something, but he wasn't having it and just wanted to walk away. And then the shots started started flying. But how much more angry? Every video we get, guys, and, and, and the more info that we kind of learn and the conversations we hear that were had and we see Quavo walking away, that this was gunfire and this resorted to that it had to, to get to that yeah. that it had to get to that over some silly argument and people just start blindly firing guns in a crowd i, I don't know there was what 30 people around there people who weren't even yeah. involved no, and you're right. just randomly firing a gun i mean it's it's sickening it's angering and he should still be alive that's uh brad exactly what you said is what um the head of yeah but see he don't understand you know that's that's how it is in the hood and like i said you know, I don't know if that was real. I don't know. You know, like I said, you know, I live in a Truman show, so everything around me is fake. I, they don't show me that everything is fake. So I don't know what's real, y'all. But I do know growing up in the hood, you know, things like events like this used to always happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, it's growing up in the, you know, in, in this, you know, in the menace of society, the a AKA the eugenic system. So comment down below, man. Tell me what you think, man. I'm out, man. Holla back, man. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe.